So if you are recently dealing with a failure or a breakup, I would look at it in that aspect. I think that it really has allows you to shift your perspective on what you're doing and why you're doing it. So another reason I just wanted to share this is that I'm taking a three month hiatus. I'm studying for exams and I'll be back in October. So athletes play the game to win. They don't just go out on the court and see what happens. And winning isn't everything. You don't want to get so attached to winning that you lose the joy of playing the game. And that's what happened with me. I lost the joy of dating and I lost the joy of studying for my exam because I was so focused on winning and then if I didn't win, there was no joy in it. And that's not how to perceive it. You do want to win, but you don't want to be attached to it. And there's a big difference. Attachment versus commitment. Attachment recently has been with two areas of my life and one is dating and I've been attached to getting a boyfriend and then the second is attached to passing this exam that I have to take that I have not been passing. It's like a practice exam for medical school. What I realized is attachment isn't where you want to come from. You want to come from the mindset of commitment. What am I committed to? With dating, my commitment is to be in an awesome relationship. So instead of focusing on what I'm attached to, which is like, oh, I just need to get a boyfriend, you need to step back and look at the bigger picture. And it's like, I'm committed to being in a healthy relationship. And also what that looks like is being in a healthy relationship with myself. Second is attachment to a certain number on an exam. It's not about the number. It's not about scoring a certain number of points. It's what are you committed to? Why are you even studying this hard? Like my commitment as a doctor, as a soon to be doctor, is to help and inspire and to educate my patients so that they are empowered in their lives. And that lights me up. Helping in that way help lights me up and not a number. Like an 84 doesn't light me up or 235 doesn't light me up. How I would impact people is what inspires me. So if you are recently dealing with a failure or a breakup, I would look at it in that aspect. I think that it really has allows you to shift your perspective on what you're doing and why you're doing it. I'll be back in October with a ton of sex education videos. I will see you all soon. Peace out.